Hi. Well, it is, what is today? Wednesday, I think. Yes, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what time it is, but it appears my clock stopped at 4 o'clock. <laughs> uh, it's not 4 o'clock. Is it 4 o'clock? Can't be 4 o'clock. But it's still ticking. I can hear it. Anyway, so um, I'm back out in the trail manor. And I've got the pillow from my other bedspread that I didn't like. Let me show it to you. Not real fond of the crisscross things on the big... I'm going to cut those off. Just don't tell on me. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't real fond of this pattern on the bed back there. It was just too busy. But I thought for back here, it would work. So um, what I did, because I don't think I told you guys, <clears throat> I took the, um, the Trail Manor mattress off of the bed area. Yeah, I'm making my bed. And I put um, a thin pad down, and then I've got this gel pad down here. If I can get it to... There you go. Anyway, um, I haven't tried closing it. I'm kind of afraid to. <laughs> anyway, um, and I just put the mattress that was on here. Um, I just put it in storage under one of the beds in the in the house. There was a there were a couple of people that asked me about taking stuff down when I close up and I get manner. this up um, the sign that one over there remember on the last video I was going to put this up above there with some coffee cups hanging off of it that's just going to be on a little hook and I can just set it back down there on that bench there's nothing in the back I mean the clock of course will come down and it'll probably just go in the bathtub or in one of the drawers the fan will come down and probably just sit um, on the floor or again in the bathroom area. There's, you know, there's lots of room in that tub once I get all that cleaned out. So, yeah, there's not a lot that has to come off. So there's the, the fan, the clock, the curtains just stay up. Of course, you know, that wind chime will come down. The light will probably go underneath here. I'll just wrap it in a towel so it doesn't get banged around. Um, cups and that kind of thing will be in, eventually, in that cabinet that is going to be mounted up it there. It has clips. And, and that cabinet, you pick it up and take it off and set it down. So I've got a small amount of things that will have to come off the... Wall. Anything that is above this level in the trail manor has to come down and be stored away except for um, the curtains. They, they're they permanent and they don't matter. So there's not that much really. Anyway, as far as my travel plans, I was talking with my cousin, well texting with my cousin and he lives in Thermopolis, Wyoming and um, since my husband passed, he knew my husband. Um, he's a taxidermist, um, Herring's Taxidermy there in Thermopolis, Wyoming. little plug for you there. Um, anyway, my cousin and I have been talking pretty regular, and he and his wife would like me to come back there um, before the fall. So, I think what my plans are is, or is, um, my plans are to, um, well, my daughter will be here with my truck, Lindsay will be here with her three boys and her husband, um, the 25th of next month, June, and they'll be here for a while visiting, um, and then they're going to go to Maryland to visit my son and the twins. So after that visit is over with, I'm not sure exactly date, but I 
probably will take a couple of trips in the trail manor locally um, just to see how I do or not, how, not so much how I do but just so I can get acclimated to pulling this thing setting it up breaking it down staying in it I never slept in it um, thought about doing that a couple of times just to do it out here next to the house blah 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 but and I haven't done it. so I want to do a couple of those little short trips that are close to home just for that reason and after that um, I plan on taking off and going to Klamath Falls, Oregon. I have family so there. So I'm going to go probably to Thermopolis after I leave either Washington or Oregon, depending on and which then, way I go. Um, really? <laughs> I'm really not right next to the train track. I'm about three blocks away. Anyway, so after I leave Thermopolis, um, I'm thinking about heading to Nebraska. I have an uncle, Michael Cunningham, that lives there that um, I'd like to go visit. <laughs> after that, I'm thinking I want to go to Colorado and visit. Bonita. After that, I, I don't have any plans. I'm, it, and it all just depends on how I do on the short trips, you know, here at home. Uh, next month and how I do going to Klamath Falls in Washington but those those two are are a given um, I would like to know how to check and possibly replace the water heater elements I'm assuming you do it from the outside I don't know yeah, I have the manual. Yeah, I, I could look that up. So anyway, that's pretty much the open-ended, non-committed <laughs> plans for me between now and September. Who knows where I'll end up in between there. Oh, somebody else had asked about um, the cat, Leo. Um, I have a neighbor. His name's Larry and his wife, Nita. They watch the place when I'm gone, and they feed the cat when I'm gone, and um, he has my alarm system code and information in case something happens. And they just live right next door, well, across the street next door. So he, he's, he's a sweetheart, and he does that. It really helps me out a lot. I thought about taking Leo with me, but he's so afraid of everything to travel with him, he would have to be in a carrier. Um, he has never been in a vehicle. Um, well, I take that back. He was in a vehicle one time, twice. He went to the vet's office to get fixed and back home from the vet's office after being fixed. So I don't believe Leo would be a good travel cat. I think he would be miserable. Um, he would have to be in a carrier. And I don't know that I could handle listening to him cry because he's scared in, in a carrier while I'm driving. Another train. Can you believe it? That sounds like Amtrak. Yep, Amtrak. Anyway, so I went and got my phone and checked the mail, and it's not 4 o'clock. It is 1.21 p.m. So I'm going to figure out what's going on with that thing. Um, I checked my mail. I got this. I think I know what it is. So let's open it. It's the case for my new phone, which is good because I haven't taken any of the wrapping, so to speak, off of my new phone because I didn't want to scratch it all up. Oh, this is weird. Anyway, it's got um, a little cabinet. Cabinet? back here for driver's license, credit card, whatever. Just kind of snaps in there nice and tight. What is that? And a mirror. Every girl needs a mirror, right? Okay, so I'm going to try and figure out 
how to put this together, and when I get it done, I'll bring it back. Hopefully, it's not going to be too hard. Got the phone in here, and it fits perfect. I really like it. I like the fact that it's got the little cupboard on the back. Got this clock reset. So, we'll see if it actually keeps time or if it's just going to go in the garbage. Because if it doesn't keep time, there's no sense to me even having it. I find other hooks to hang my stuff on. So we'll see. All right, I'm headed into the house again. I'm going to get those pads that came off of the, the gel pad thing and see if I can't make little covers, slip covers out of them, out of the leftover material from the curtains. So I'll be sewing today. So that's it for today, I think. There might be more. I don't know. In any case, like, share, subscribe, comment below. Click that little bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. So you don't miss anything because exciting things are getting ready to happen. Okay, I'll be back later. Bye.